I'm gonna go on like a little road trip by myself starting now. A whistle if you're being kidnapped. I still feel like we should talk this out like. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. What's up? Wait, we're kind of matching. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Kinda. Um, so I went to the gym this morning um, with one of my girlfriends and I feel really good guys. He has to work today. I'm so sad but I got him coffee on the way back because I'm such a good girlfriend. I know. She came in. She came in clutch for me. Yeah, you're welcome. So, and I have my Americano with Stevia but... I have to put a little bit of almond milk in it because like after my workout, I crave something like not sweet and like now that I'm getting hungry, I'm craving something sweet. So, I'm gonna do that. Oh my God, look at Roxy right now. Look how bougie she is. You're fancy. You're fancy. Your little burrito blanket. Well, technically that's my burrito blanket, but she definitely like stole it from it me. It was Roxy's from the start, let's not. It was not Roxy's from the start, it was, it was Roxy's from the start. Let's not pretend. Um. I don't know what our plans are today. I have to go grocery shopping, but I really don't want to go by myself. But I have to anyway because he has to work. So sad. But we're going to have breakfast soon. Guys, I'll insert a clip of my hiking here. A clip of me running. And I run so funny. Like, oh my gosh. Um, it was uphill, it was so hard. It was three hours, like literally three hours. Let me see if I can pull up the freaking um, activity thing on my phone. Six miles, I don't know if you guys can see that. Six miles, three hours and 24 minutes, 822 elevation, and I burned 1,100 calories. Like, oh my gosh. And I definitely did not eat enough yesterday, so I'm feeling that today. I was exhausted. Like I pro Dom said that he thinks that I got heat stroke because at night I was like really hot, but I was like cold. So I don't know. But and you were re you were like exhausted, exhausted. I was so exhausted. Like I was falling asleep on the way home um, after dinner, and I was like oh, so tired. Like I went to bed at 10, which <laughs> seems kind of late, but for us that's like that's early, right, babe? Like 10 is early. No, but I was falling asleep at like 9. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, I was falling asleep at 9 in the car. I feel like normally we're up till 11 or midnight. No, not midnight, but definitely like 11. Midnight. Yeah, he's up till midnight. So, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do, and then we'll get back to you guys. You guys already probably can tell that I am all by my lonesome, and we are pranking the one and only Dominic Labrano. So... Today's prank is going to be kind of sad in a way. Um, basically, I left, like I told you guys earlier, I had to go to the grocery store and run a couple of errands. Um, well, instead of going to the grocery store, I pulled over on the side of the road and I'm going to call him and tell him I'm not coming home and that I need time to think and I'm just gonna do like a road trip and I don't need anything and that he can take care of the dogs and just to like, uh, I don't know. We'll improv it, but it's gonna be really sad. Just know that I would never leave him. Like he is literally my whole life and I love him so much. I love the life that we've built together. I love our dogs, I love his family, everything. Like we're meant for each other and so this would never actually happen, but I can't, uh, I gotta keep him on his toes, you know? So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna text him and make sure he's on a, not on a call. So can I call? And we're gonna see what he does. I hope he doesn't cry. He's a crier. He's probably gonna kill me for saying that. I don't know why my light is on. That was weird. Um, so I said, can I call? 
And he said, yeah, what's up, yo? It's going to be so hard. Hopefully you guys can hear. Hey, what's up? Hey, are you busy? I mean, Marissa, I'm, I'm always in the throes of some deep-seated philosophical problem, but if you're talking if, like, I actually have anything going on, no, I never have anything going on. Okay, well... I was, like, kind of driving around before heading to the store, and, like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I've just been feeling, like, weird lately, and, like, I, I mean, like, I don't know, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been, like, a little quiet, and I told you that nothing is wrong, but, like, I feel like I don't know where I'm going with my life, and... I don't want to hold you back from things that you want to do. And I think I'm going to take this opportunity to just kind of figure out what exactly my path is and like figure it out on my own. And so I'm going to go on like a little road trip by myself starting now. Like I don't need anything. Um, I don't know when I'll be back. I'm not coming home tonight but I just need like a mental break and I need to just like get out of town and figure out what I want to do I don't know I know this sounds weird but I just feel like I'm holding you back from your true potential and like I never want that to happen Marissa like I'm not, I'm not really sure where all this is coming from. First off, no one can hold me back from my true potential. I watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z growing up. Secondly, are you like, like whistle if you're being kidnapped, like, or if you're being like coerced in any way? Because this doesn't sound like you. What do you mean you're gonna go on a road trip of self discovery? This isn't like a '90s rom com. Like I don't, I don't really. Like, do you want to just come home? We can talk about it before you do something rash. Or I can meet you someplace if you'd feel more comfortable doing that. But, like, that's the thing. Like, I don't think it's rash. Like, I've been feeling this way for a while. And, like, it has nothing to do with you. Like, mm -hmm. you're great. But, like, I, I don't know. I know I am. Well... I still feel like we should talk this out. Like, you just I know said, I know I am. On your mind this whole time. I mean, like, how long have you been feeling this way? I don't know, like, for a couple weeks, couple months, maybe. Well, can we at least, like, talk about it, like, in person? And, you know, I mean, is there anything I can do to, like, help you? Is there anything, the, you know, I can do? Um... I don't really know, to be honest with you, like, I just feel like this is something, like, that I need to do, like, by myself, and... But, Marissa, I'm not, like, I'm all for you figuring out what you want to do, but I just feel like this isn't the way to go about it. First off, I mean, traveling alone anywhere without telling anyone where you're going just seems super dangerous. And then on top of that, it's like. I mean, you have my location. You can see where I'm going. But I just need to do it, like, alone. Well, where are you going? I don't know. I may go, like, maybe to, like, Utah or, like, Vegas or. Those are, like, very different places. See, I feel like you should just come home. And we can talk this out. And if you still feel like you need to go, you know, if you still feel like you need to travel across the land searching far and wide, then, you know, maybe you need to understand the power that's inside. So maybe you come home and think about this. I this, just... seems, this seems really rash. This doesn't sound like you. And I just feel like, you know, I'm all about going off on an adventure, but this doing it this way just doesn't seem right I don't know I just feel like 
I, I have to do this alone. Like, I feel like you're much older than me, and, like, I don't expect you to understand. But I just feel like you're so much more, like, advanced in life, and I still have, like, a lot to learn. That's fine. No one's going to hold that against you. I have so why don't, you just, really why don't we just come, but these, I like, I can meet like, you wherever really you are, nice. and we can just talk about it. I feel like I just... I support you doing what you feel like you need to do, but I would like to talk about it even a little bit more. Like, you don't have your clothes with you. Like, I know you don't have your phone charger. I mean, this just doesn't seem right. I do have a phone charger. And I want to help you through anything you're going through. Like, I wish you would come to me sooner about feeling this way. And what about Roxy and Remy and Rhea? Where Roxy? Mommy's trying to go on a Pokemon adventure. I don't know. I just Marissa? need... Yeah. Oh, I was so Hello? mute. Marissa? I'm here. Okay, well, can you just come home or I can meet you and we can talk about it? Because this all seems... This all seems really sudden and this all seems really strange. All right, well, I guess I'll just, I'll come home to pack some stuff. Like, I'm going to leave, but I'll call you when I pull into the driveway and maybe you can come out. I mean, okay, I just, you know, I love you and you know I'm here for you. Like, I just want you to be happy. I know, and I love you too. Like, it's not about you. Are you sure? Yes. Well, let me let me do whatever I can to help you. Okay, I'll I'll call you when I get to the house. Okay, I love you. I love you more. Bye. Bye. Guys, he sounded so sad. Oh, but I had a minute to uh, use these eye patches, and oh, they are burning, but. I just spit everywhere as I said that. These eye patches are burning. I don't know if they're supposed to do that, but I think that means that they're working. So that's a good thing because your girl has some under eye bags. All right. Well, um, I am going to pull. Do I look like less like inflamed? Um. I'm going to go home and pull in the driveway, and then when I pull in the driveway, I'm going to call him, and I'm going to point the camera, like, to him, so when he opens the door, hopefully he, like, knows, like, it's a prank, so let me get my life together. And I have, like, four cups in here. Just kidding, I only have two. Everyone should be proud. Okay. I will see you guys when I pull in the driveway. All right, guys. I just pulled in the driveway. And I'm going to call him back. Hey, are you here? Yeah, I'm outside. All right. I'm coming out. Okay. All right. I kind of just hung up on him, but... Also, my mom gave me this, like, hair mask, and I'm excited to use it because my whole entire hair is damaged. I feel bad. This was kind of a mean prank. Oh, he's coming. Oh, my God. Act okay. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. Hey, what's going on? Is this a f Marissa? You got no. No, no, no! no come here, come here! Now. No, babe, please, no, I'm not, I'm not babe, please come no, in, no. babe. <laughs> babe, babe, come here. What? Is your neighbors looking at us? Oh my god. Oh, that was so I'm good. so mad at you right now. I'm sorry, I love you. You're my 
my favorite. Mm hmm. Give me a hug. <laughs> Don't give me a bag. Give me a hug. <laughs> Why are your ears so cold? I don't know. Oh, I like your hairstyle. Thank you. Guys, we are not. You're. I'm awful. not leaving. No. Just to reiterate, I'm staying. I can never leave you. I even told them, like, when the video comes out, you'll see. Like, I told them, like, I love you too much. And you mean. Were you crying? No, I'm not crying. Your eyes I'm are watering. I'm annoyed with you. I'm annoyed with you. I've got. I got to go back to work he now. He's crying. I would never leave you. Just know that, okay? Mm hmm. I love you. Mm hmm. Love you. I know. Love me. I know. Say that. No. Love me. No. You can earn that back now. <laughs> like, wow. comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.